Duke Ellington was an American jazz pianist and band leader. Um, there's a huge page uh, on him in uh, Wikipedia, um, and I am by no means going to do his entire life history justice in what I want to be quite a short introduction here. Um, so he was born in 1899. He may be the first, maybe the only act uh, in this list that was born in the 19th century. Um, he formed his first group at the age of 18 in 1917 and was in several groups sometimes it, by the sound of it at the same time um some some of them were different names for the same people i think um and played um he uh, he had been training as an artist and was working as a, a a sign painter but he basically gave that up to go professional um, uh, musically. Uh, in 1927 he got an opportunity um just by then he was leading these bands uh, he got an opportunity to to be hired by the cotton club uh, which is a, a a famous and somewhat notorious manhattan nightclub uh, in new york obviously manhattan um and uh, which is a place where um uh, cab calloway played and was immortalized in the film the cotton club strangely enough um and uh, he got that opportunity because another jazz guy called king oliver uh had turned it down um and in order to fulfill that contract he had to increase the size of his band um and it was uh, i think at this point when he really became big band um and it's there were quite a few people involved his career then you know, went up and down uh, over the years. At times, he was more popular overseas. He did a tour of England and Scotland at one point. Um, his career got a boost in America in the 50s after he had made an appearance at the Newport Jazz Festival. He recorded many things in many ways with many people in lots of different configurations and with his band. Um, and uh, he apparently recorded for every possible US label that there was, and has what was described in Wikipedia as the largest recorded personal jazz legacy. He died in 1974, aged 75. Hi, my name's Dan. So this album is the film score for the film Anatomy of a Murder. Uh, and the music was written by uh, Duke Ellington, and it was recorded by his uh, big band. Um, and it's it's a blend, it's, it's described in acclaimed music as uh, jazz and film music, and I would say it's a blend between the two. And at times it has a kind of more orchestral feeling, and when it does, it reminds me a bit of the little bit of Gershwin that I particularly know, which is Rhapsody in Blue, uh, which is taking jazz ideas and putting them in a more contemporary classical setting um so uh i'd say predominantly though it's big band jazz it's nice jazz there's a lot of harmonized brass stuff going on in here which is kind of the uh, uh the particular sound that you'd associate with, with this kind of jazz um there are uh you know, tracks that are faster tracks that are slower obviously um i think possibly the two that i thought stood out from the others were a track called low key lightly which is uh, i think entirely just piano and it's almost classical in its approach but again with a interesting uh, approach to the to the harmony and the structures musical structures to it um and midnight indigo not to be confused with mood indigo uh, which sounds just like it must have been for the backing for somebody creeping about at night possibly a spy it's that kind of music it's like that the henry mancini pink panther theme uh, very much so um i don't have a lot more to dig into uh, other, to, other to say really yeah i enjoyed it it's quite cool um i'm not always a fan of big band stuff um my i kind of have this thought when i approach big band that jazz is meant to be improvised and obviously this isn't this is written but it's still got a good feel so uh i did enjoy it that's what i think i'd love to know what you think please talk to me through the comments box that's it from me for now